Just taking a quick look at this new Fossabot 2400. So this is a, a new company, a new brand, something we haven't really seen before. But actually, I think it's um, probably the same parent company that's making this Grissel and this Ocotil. Because just, you know, looking at the form factor and the proportions of this thing, the, you know, basically the size of it, it, it looks to be about, about the same size. And if you actually go through the specs, pretty similar specs as well, right? And um, these, these other models also have this kind of uh, unique supercharge, they call it icon right there in the percentage bar and uh, of course you know we see that on the on this new uh, Fossabot as well but they did kind of update this uh, actually they updated the, the whole case basically but yeah they did update the screen as well um, the graphics on it they just kind of you know made it a little bit more crisp they added uh, some nice contrast to the, the color from the rest of the that kind of teal color that they that they're using and um, the percentage right in the center now too as well so that's that's good stuff so yeah, there's no way to know that these are all being made by the same company, but you know, this isn't just wild speculation. I mean, the specs are similar, right? The design is similar. And you know, we get that 2000 watt hour LFP battery, 2400 watt uh, inverter. We get a couple of uh, 100 watt, or we just get one, excuse me. We just get one uh, 100 watt USB-C, but there's a whole bunch of other ones here as well. So I like to see that. And um, we got a bunch of uh, options for 12 volt outlet as well, including a, a 25 amp. Then we get this nice kind of detailing right on the front of the, the case. It gives it a little bit of texture, breaks up some of that flat black plastic. So um, I do like to see a kind of a, a design detail like that. And then we get this excellent case design. So basically, you know, everything is tucked into the unit, into this cube, right? Including the handles. Just, you know, they have them tucked into the side there. And then we still get the flat top. So this is a big improvement over those other units. Especially with the Grissel here, you see that they designed like the, the box, the case first, and then they're like, oh, we need to put some handles on it, right? So they kind of add those on at the last second. Uh, the Ocotel was a little bit better, but you know, it's still like, like still some weird stuff going on up there, right? Like, like we want to just see a nice, clean, flat top, right? And so that's what we get with the, with the new Fossabot. And, you know, this is just, I think we're going to start seeing this kind of handle design more and more on these power stations because these companies are just figuring out that this is the best solution, right? And then actually this area that sits kind of between the handles, they're not using it for anything like any of the internal components. So you actually get a nice storage box there that flips up. And we do get covers. You know, we basically we get covers for, well, actually we get covers for everything, um, not just the, the outlet ports and the, the charging ports, but actually you get a cover for the fans. This is, um, actually we'll talk about that more here in a second. And then the last little thing that, that's actually got me like really exciting, if I actually zoom in here, is um, this, this little like mechanical dial that they have on here to control the input charging speed. This is just something that I'm, I'm kind of like really excited about because I love having like uh, mechanical switches and dials and things that you know it's just nice to kind of you know in this digital age it's just kind of nice to be able to reach out and grab something right and um this it's, it's it looks nice too you like you know this kind of like brushed um steel look to it it looks like a high quality knob right it looks like something you want to reach out and touch and i think this is just a, a nice idea too because instead of having the setting like buried in the app you know in the app you know where maybe someone has it just left on the fastest charge here, which is 1100 watts, you know, and then they just, they don't ever bother to go into the app to change it. This is just real nice because, you know, as I talk about in my videos, like you don't want to do the fastest charge if you don't really need it, right? So with a dial like this, you can just reach out, you know, whatever, whatever's convenient for you, you know, to charge it back up, you can kind of just reach out and adjust it, right? So this is actually um, 300 to 1100 is the kind of the, the range you can, do with this knob all right so let's just move on and talk about some more of the specs here real quick so we do get 500 watts max solar charging and this is actually up to 50 volts so and they're using an anderson connection on this as well so that's kind of you know it's on a, on a unit this size it's actually uh you know on the lower end but um you know it's it's a decent amount you could always over panel this you know 500 watts too right so you could uh you know consistently max that out at 500 watts and you know, with this 2000 watt hours, you're still gonna be able to charge that up pretty quick. Now it does have a UPS as well, and they're actually claiming that this is under eight milliseconds. I mean, if that's true, that's um, you know, that's top notch stuff. That's something that we definitely wanna see. So I really hope that is true. Cause you know, a lot of these companies, they'll say, you know, it's got a UPS and then, you know, 20 or 30 milliseconds, right? Well, 
Well, guess what? That's, you know, that's basically means it might work. It might not work. Right. Especially for uh, something like a real sensitive computer or something. Now, one thing to note is it is um, only for less than 1100 watts or 1155 watts here. Now here we got all the charging methods. And one thing to note that is nice since that solar charge is a little bit low is um, they do allow you to combine those two, right? So you can do those simultaneously and you can do it up to 1600 watts, which is pretty good. And then, yeah, we do have to talk about these fan covers. So check this out. They actually have, they actually ask you as the user to flip these open when, uh, you know, when this thing's basically running at a high load and when those fans kick on. Now this is, uh, this is, this is a really bold move. I don't, I don't know if I'd have that much faith in my, my customers if I was designing a unit like this. This kind of seems like something like, um, you know, if, if you don't do this, basically, you know, if you don't flip these up um, and this thing can't keep itself cool, I mean, that just seems like, you know, I assume they have some kind of warranty on this unit. You know, that just seems like a recipe for a disaster and, and a, lot of, um, a lot of returns right under warranty. If this thing overheats inside here, you know, basically you're just going to have premature failure with, with all the components in there, right? And then you can get this unit with some bright green accents on it if you want, you know, something with a little bit more pop. And then what's really nice is they do actually offer this unit with a hand truck. So uh, like for about $100 more, you can get this nice hand truck that this thing attaches to. And I kind of like this idea because, you know, unlike some other units where it's like basically built into the unit, it's kind of nice that they have this option that you can kind of, you know, separate these two things if you want it. And you don't have to always have that, that hand truck look on your power station, right? So yeah, that's the Fossabot 2400. Hopefully you just found this video helpful or interesting. And yeah, thanks for watching.